Hello guys, welcome to Gromdos. My name is Tanara and welcome back to Mars. We are surviving here in the game called Surviving Mars. Um, last time we did get our research area up a bit. Um, we oh research area the, the we got the farm up. We had a infirmary up. We managed to do something else. We managed to do in the last bit there. I think it was like the tower, hanging gardens and stuff like that. We just managed to build in the nick of time. Uh, this time we are going for the microdome. That needs to be done because we have our long term mission to uh, gather rare materials. Um, wonder where you can see. Is this the screen? No, uh, it's not that one. Our missions for today, for what we have. I don't think we have. I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to see it somewhere. Uh, there's somewhere, probably somewhere it's very nice you can see what you need to do and where. Um, <clears throat> I haven't figured that out yet. But we do have a goal to collect a lot of uh, rare materials in 100 days, I guess. B uh, before Solo 100. I think. Uh, there must be a, be a way to see it. Not that one, not the radio. Not here. Right. Command center. Graphs? No. Buildings? No. I don't know. We, we, we figure it out. Uh, while we get there. Now, however, let's turn on the speed of this and we do need to... Okay, this is done. Thought it was not working properly. We do need to set up a um, research station, a recharge station for this poor robots up here. You don't need to go to this one all the time. This rocket says it's ready for launch. Can that be true? Refueling done. Yeah, let's send it back. Fire rocket. Going at normal speed feels like everything goes in slow motion. This is normal speed. And that's beautiful to look at. You can actually see it from this map view as well. That's cool. I never, I never really noticed that one. It looks fantastic though. You can see it rise up. Um, now though, this is the main. This was the main building center we had. We have water here, which we still need. Um, otherwise, we don't really have anything here that we need to be doing. We have the production of fuel. We have all our main water tanks and we have our main power supply in this end. After that, we don't have anything we need from that side. Everything we can rebuild here yeah, yeah, eventually. We have the, this point up here. We need to build ourselves a new um, drone hub up here. Just to have the main area covered. We can actually do it here so we have more control both of the domes and of this area. 
that's going to be good. Um, now what? We need more. We are in next second. Or we could build another sensor tower up here, make the f room scans go a bit faster as well. Do that. Uh, otherwise, now all we need to do is wait for this don't be active. We can build a tunnel from here to here. Oh, that's gonna be hard. I did not really think that through. Crap. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe I have a point here I can take a tunnel in. Um. That would make the passage between the two domes a bit easier. How? Uh, what? What are you waiting for? You're waiting for concrete, which we have abundance of up here. Uh, Mister Trucky Duty, go up here, load all the concrete you can make, and let's head on to a higher speed. Uh, there we go. Full speed ahead. Now this is active, and these are actually starting to build on this one as well, so that's going to be great. You can head down and place yourself here. That should be perfect. Now that you should be able to. Hypothermia? The colonists are suffering from hypothermia. Um. Or canola colonists are suffering for hypothermia. Domes features heater feature heaters which uh, maintain pleasant temperature of 23 degrees Celsius around the clock, protecting against fluctuating temperatures of the frickle fri fri Martian atmosphere outside. The temperature inside the dome quickly decrease when the power supply is cut, and the colonists sure do feel the effects. If the situation remains unchanged, I'm afraid it could get could be fatal. So that's a pro power problem we have at the moment. Let's uh, crank it up then. Sterling reactor. We are down 14 power. Which is not great at the moment. So we need to sort out our problem with power. Can I build sterling reactors? No. So it's solar and wind. Gotcha. Uh, just rotate. There we go. Starting to build a few of these, so we have more wind. During the day we do have... Ooh, we have 23 minuses in power. <laughs> uh, that's not great. We have a food shortage. Okay, so this farm is done. Yeah, farm this dome and we need to have it in the same sort of way this, this is it's not great looking I don't know I kind of like it that way instead yeah because that matches the, the inside matches is at least Yeah, let's see if the tunnel actually matches this part first. Otherwise, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Where is it? Uh, it is on domes, yeah. Passage. Oh, the passageway works. Almost. No, 
doesn't. Too bad. It could have been nice. Just. Do it like that. Uh, sadly, you can't build it in parts. You have to build like. in one go which is a bit sad because now I need to actually have otherwise I could have used the same colonies here now I need to build another set of uh, housing and stuff for these ones which is gonna be a pain but before we can do that we have still a problem with power <coughs> Did I do that? Did I? Oh, that's interesting. Actually, go down quite f nice on the surface. This is fun. I never noticed this. Not an entrance. That's cool. It looks good from this pers perspective, doesn't it? Hanging gardens. You even have a waterfall, that's cool. All right, I wanna live on Mars, or on Mars. Um, go back up to the high altitude. Back a bit. There we go. Now we're back. Um, power. Uh, is there a research for making sterling reactors on Mars? No. So we actually need to. If we're gonna have endless power, good power, we need one. Of, we need those. They produce twenty power each. And one of these produce 5.5. We have a total demand on 120 power. And we have. Uh, that means. Well, when these are built, we should match that. But that's not. That's just. On the edge. Well, we have five more, I think. But that's on, during night time. Well, some buildings shut down during night, but we still have a lack of power. Now we're on the plus side of power supply, but now it's night time as well, so we can't really know until the sun goes up. But let's start um, with the, this thing then. We need a living quarters for this, and this also needs a grocer. like to have a research on it as well however I'm gonna make this complex more for a uh, geologist I guess we have a food shortage however that's not great is this working now how there's one person living in these houses Let's see. Um, how else did I do this? Uh, not filled. Yeah, I could filter by age. Uh, not that in this one. Sp 
specification. Let's see now. I want I want to know what special uh, what the special things are. Extract. Oh, a geology specialist uh, trained in working in extractor buildings. And that we need in this one. No scientists in this one. We could have factories here, but not now. Security buildings. This is uh, farms, and this is just medicals. So let's. No specification, not going here. Uh, botanists, we don't need here. Well, might do actually. No medics, though. And in this building, um, well, we do need scientists, um, geologists here as well, because we have the extractor here. Damn it! But these are preferred here. Oh, I didn't apply the changes for this building. Damn it! Uh, no, who those? Back specifications. Geologists. No scientist. No medics. Apply. Apply changes, please. There we go. Now they should be going over, switching sides a bit. Um, what did they? <coughs> they had some special kind of what they wanted. They like drinking and plus drinking minus relaxation. What? So they want a bar, but they have a bar in the other size. So yeah, that's, that's good. Um, however, I could provide you with a. They might need some food in here as well. We all need food, but is that production? Yeah. Oh, I could do a f do a big farm in the research. Huh? New building farm. What's this? I guess this gives food. New building, fungal farm, an out dome building that produces food. I think you're gonna go for this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sector scanned. No resources in that sector. Uh, what can I put in more in this? Let's put in a farm then, so we have some food production at least in this house um can we do something for you guys you know i need some relaxation so let's go with a nice little fountain there perfect uh now we just need to drop some people on our our heads Passenger rocket, please. Uh, back, we need specifications. This time we need geologists. Might need some botanists as well, so we can open up. Yep, yeah, launch.
wonder if we should get some more sterling reactors as well because now we see the power is 27 plus so you are on the right side and we actually got started to store power as well produce 5.5 .5. That's good. This production up here works nicely. Oh, we need to build a rock uh, rock storage here. And as this will be our main shipping line, we need a landing pad. Let's turn ourselves around. There's the door in, it's door in there. So we place that one here and we do a storage. No, not. Ooh, anomaly. It was a long time ago we had an anomaly. I wanted a depot for rare materials and I want it built here so we actually can stockpile them at one place and not move them all the way down here which they probably will end up anyway right and do we have no we don't have any real materials yet we might have to build another moxie as well I just realized because we have full air but with two domes working we might have to do something about it we have to see, we have to see. Uh, rocket is at 80... 90% and we will soon have our second dome up and working with the new colonists and they will work in this to co collect the things we need the research compact passenger module. Ooh, I like that. That means I can get more passengers in per go. Uh, wrong way. Welcome to Mars, my fellow companions. New colonists have arrived. There we go. They actually run between the buildings as well. Someone is out of homes? That's not great. Did I miscalculate the housing? Let's build another house here then. We will need more people in anyway at some point, so we need might as well. They are all out of food. Sankt Arnold's fire? A sinkhole appeared overnight. It's more than 10 meters across and dangerously close by. We should send an explorer to assess the danger of the sinkhole post ASAP. Troubling, indeed. Mystery log. A mysterious sinkhole has appeared on Mars. We should probably investigate that. Yeah, the second me message just said it. Oh, it's fucking close as well. I thought it was like miles away or something. Uh, not miles, but you know. Is this die dead? Okay, it's not dead. It looked dead. What do you mean? Anomaly found. That's actually deep. It looks like... Oh. Hmm. This drone hub has heavy load. I can understand you have that. Oh, this is almost full. Both of those. Uh, let's build another... Depot then. Concrete. I don't know what that mystery thing does.
We have a food shortage. I know we have a food shortage. We're working on it. I could send down a ship with more food. Scan faster. I want to know what this anomaly is. Anomaly. Um, we do have production going. Anomaly analyzed. Resources are low. We we analyzed the sinkhole and deemed it stable and not a safety concern. Uh, it's quite visible during the day, and all the vehicles have already added their it to their navigation systems so they can easily avoid it. The sinkhole exposed an Asian la exposed Asian lava tubes beneath the surface, rich in na natural occurring polymers. Polymers? Interesting. Uh, this is truly a very interesting discovery and we can exploit it in several ways. Polymers are welcome, gain 25 polymers. Uh, polymers is great, but I don't know if I need it right at the moment, because I have 44 right now. Uh, we may learn a lot from exp from this exploration, leave it intact, gain a lot of points for our research, research which we need. Polymers we don't need at the moment, I have 44, I will start making a production of that as well. Ah, research. research complete. Now we have more research, so we, then we can start actually going with this uh, Okay, we're gonna do first that was it autonomous sensors and What's more ahead? Wait, how do we run? That way. We have crap. Unlock new crops f in farms. Ah, uh, damn it! We need that as well. <laughs> All right. And that was a good find, though, because we needed more. We need more people working on the farming situation we have here they are working heavily to get that food ready this is a bit further away no one's working here they just started up a new a new supply yeah we do have some food here that's great These rocks are just annoying though. Might need to build something to make us go faster. Now we have seven less energy again. Um, guessing for now we can go with the uh, large solar panels for... I'm guessing that we have power at night. We don't have power during the day. <coughs> No, oh, this is wrong. Uh, that should be there. That there. Good, and we do the power cables from here. I might not reach that. There we go. Now we have a solar farm just outside our housing area, which will help us with the um, power during the day. This now is being loaded with. that stuff um, 
do we have we have a fuel depot here need to have some transportation device going uh, you can Sector go scanned. low fuel load fuel and for this I want oh no fuck me I press the wrong button again go and load fuel please that's your main mission uh, let's go into the build menu give me a depot for fuel here as close to the dome as possible so if it dis explodes we know why um, the sink will turn out to be an entrance to lava tubes yeah good can I remove you now we have almost scanned the entire lower part here which is great please so we can start loading up the rocket and send it back home we have a lot of resources laying around um, however we have no way to get in them from one point to another because I don't think this reaches here and the other one should be over almost there. So we, maybe we should have a universal in the middle just to. I don't know. It feels like if I place this one here, should that works as a like loading area for everything else? And if this goes here, can the other one go from the other side and pick this up? to this side let's see what is it I know we have a food shortage we always have a food shortage scan that anomaly we had one more apparently that I didn't know of our colonists is not starving they just lazy too lazy to eat okay we do have don't have any food there we have food here we can go here and eat uh, what do you say? Go away. Um, were you rich? Train general is secure. See, uh, searching vital resources for colony. Idol. Issues. Unemployment. Start up another work shift then. We can't have any poly people. We need to get those resources in. still have resources so unload resources here please thank you this one uh, is fuel and ready to go so let's launch that one breakthrough discovered, breakthrough discovered. oh yes this is what I will <laughs> be waiting for as well Drone hubs no longer require powers or maintenance. Self-sustained drone hubs are paramount importance in exploring our presence on Mars. This is perfect. Um, do we have a large queue at the moment? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, he's standing in line. Uh, how is the research? Um, we have 100 research times sold. And the current research needs so much. Oh, crap. That's why research takes so long. We need to build a research dome just for scientists or something. Because we have this one. Um. Sector scan. Can I start it? Then it's 230 per soul. 290. Do I get to 300 something per soul? These only work one shift. That's good. Because we have a lot of materials. This has people in it. This has almost four people, it's missing one. That means everyone is actually working at the moment. What do you say? Issue homeless. That's not great. if you are hungry it might have been a bit of um, problem when we moved people from one dome to another so let's build another housing complex see if we can get that people that person happy So let's see, in here, this house has zero residents, this house has 12. We could set up this to have like a research center. And get more people in that way. And have some research here as well. That's a big ass casino. Can I have a diner in here? A diner so we can get food. <laughs> no life support. Oh. That's not great. Okay, it's the power problem again. No. Not enough food butter. Funding received. Is the water pipe down? Anomaly found. Now we're just lacking water. Let's turn this on constantly now. Do we have in this it's quite very good very low grade of water might need to open up this water supply as well and cup it up into we have a water supply here as well that's great um how do you have in power do you need power anymore we have a food shortage. We know we have starving colonists. Okay. I thought I could set up a pattern. Um. Um. 
Mental breakdown. Floyd Dean, as every other colonist, went through a physical condition conditioning before arriving on Mars to guarantee their most basic ability to cope with the adverse environment. Adverse environment. Indeed, the people live on a barren, dead, cold world with toxic, almost non-existent atmosphere. Protected by a fragile looking dome and relying on machines to keep them alive. <coughs> and unparalleled everyday stress levels slowly drain the people of their resolve. Thus, even a slight shock of frustration can send someone over the edge. On Earth, the environment and recreation are just for fun, but here they are a tool of basic survival. Hint, colonist F Floyd Dean has uh, reached critical low sanity. Provide opera operational healthcare buildings in the dome and avoid heavy workloads or nighttime work to prevent this situation in you, which always up here. Of course it's up here. I can't do anything for you, Floyd. I'm sorry. You have to just cope with it. Research complete. Good. Uh, put that in there. Uh, what was this? There was a medium sized dome. Nice. Anomaly analyzed. The Anomaly. analysis tells us that we found iridium rich sulfides. That's a real rarity on Earth. Uh, mankind's uh, in general had found a myriad. Myriad, myriad of application for it, but we forced our plan on a much simpler, more vital role on in growing colony RGGs, free energy for anyone. Effects reduces the cost of physic tech by ten percent. Interesting. Mega structure. Really not working. Hanging gardens. The hanging gardens is not working. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah. Are you moving to the next point? No, you're just standing there like a buffoon. Sector scanned. Oh, that was a great rich sector. Um, however, it seems like we are lacking. Water. Electrostatic dust storm approaching. Oh crap, close this one. Uh, close you. This is not great. Electrostatic dust storm. Insufficient water. Right, it seems like we only have one thing to do about that. I need my commander go up here. Let's see what we need for this life support. We need that one. That needs uh, concrete and uh, concrete and machine parts. No, it's too far from a commander. Right now, it's too far from commander. We, we will fix that problem. Power. Power cable from this, I guess.
Here we go. Power cables connected. Water connected. We just need our trusted little rover to collect machine parts. And add one. Collect some concrete. We have a food shortage. We know we have a shoe food shortage. Anomaly analyzed. Vivid lights hovering just slightly above the ground were witnessed roaming around water containing structures for the better part of the Martian night. We have limited surveillance footage that uh, comes with come that gives some credibility to eyewitnesses. According to these are nothing in nothing new in general. The strain of the night shift is usually the carpet in such cases, but the consistency and the sheer quantity of the reports make one like this one tough to dismiss. Uh, not to mention it seemed to have occurred uncontrolled losses of water from our life support network. There we go, now we know where that is. Mysterious lights will appear at night and drain water. Fuck you. <laughs> Hints, turning water storage turning off water storage will produce protect our reserves but not the rest of the life. Port grid. Damn it. There's really nothing in the tanks. It's so dry. Store water one. Uh, you have one half machine part. We have a food shortage. Good. Uh, get machine parts. Here's someone here you are. Go and research that, please. Without life support, yeah, or the things here again. What are these? It's turning. Need not pump any water at night time. Is that it?
Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Now what are you gonna do? Why is one red? One is red, one is blue. They came from the fucking hole? Hey! C did someone see that? They came from the hole. Can I, can I? Oh, research. Oh, here it is. Uh, new building, Sterling Reactor, yeah, uh, generates power. When closed, the reactor produces, uh, protected from dust, but produces less power. The Sterling Radioscope Reactor is a generator based on a Sterling engine powered by a large radioscope heater unit. This, this is just so we don't have to have prefabs for that. Produce uh, increased power by 33%. Oh, this is great as well. Then we can get one more uh, explorer AI. Yeah, it's, it's just so many of the good things. Uh. <laughs> oh, we got the farm. I'm getting so much stuff now, I don't even know. This is great as well. Polymer factor. This thing though. You really need to remember to turn this stuff on and off all the time. And yeah, the dust on it. So we have a, gl a lot of power at the moment. These ones are actually producing quite a lot of energy at the moment. Eight. How many? Ah. All right, we're coming up to an hour, so. Um. Close. I know you're out of food. You're always out of food. You're always hungry. I was normally up here though. It was not great. I hope there were more here. Um, you can actually stay there because there might be more things coming up there. Um, now though. Sector scanned. Nothing there. Dust storm remaining one day. Billing not working. Yes, we know. I could start building a farm, I guess. I come back here. Um, we have the farm. It's indoors. Crap. I thought it was outdoors. No, it was the fun guys and was outdoors. Crap. Oh well. Um, a large water tank we can build now as well. I don't have the use for it yet, but could be useful. Um, let's go with domes first. Let's see. Microdome was the one I just built. This looks big. Uh, There's some. Oh, I didn't press that button. <clears throat> we can build one electronics factory, and we can build one polymer factory. Polymer. What does that mean? It needs water to work, and ten power. Eighteen workers. Six workers per shift. As I said, at the moment we don't need polymers, but we have the prefab if we ever need one. Um, uh, 
think I have to let my RC unit be up here because I might need to repair it. What does this need to repair? Machine parts crap. I need to build a machine factory because we at the moment it's starting to like um seems like we need more and more machine things production where it is machine park factory we don't have any prefabs for that uh, how many houses do we have available we have children who huh? we have children seven Marsen borns god I need to build another space and I can build a kindergarten for them I can't build because I don't have spots for it damn it wait how many we have children we have young adults let's build a school I guess no one said there was children in my thing It's a living space for children. That's great. How many children do I have? Three. Use two. What's the new thing? Here, I have this. Um, I might have to build another dome just out here. I think I'm going to go with a big one as well, again, and do that for like food and I can do a bear. Oh, this bear one was big. Too big. Uh. Basic dome, it's too big as well. Build like here, I would be able to maybe get something out of it. I have to improvise. Um, that power cables The dust storm now it's 12 hours till the dust storm ends. Leak detected. Resources are low. Everything is low at the moment. We need the 12 hours to pass so we can actually start fixing stuff. We can't do anything A without colonist it. Has died. First colony dead. Colonist. Uh, deceased. Middle aged. Cause of the suicide. Oh, that's not great. Well, we have a bit of a uh, life and death situation.
situation here going on. And you know what? I want to. I'm gonna do it worse for you in a bit. So hold on. Uh, I wonder how many people they take each. Because, oh, micro, okay, we're manufacturing. Because I want to have a sort of um, housing complex. Let's see when the research is done. Uh, yeah. However, it seems I'm kind of grim at the moment, but at this point, I will leave five hours left of the electric storm. And I'm gonna pause here. Uh, things are looking kind of bad at the moment. There's more red. Uh, mess just and then it is blue even though the blue one is not great as well um, um, there is bill not working we know this because the storm and due to the storm the drone hubs have mal malfunction uh, not great none of it electric dust storm five hours leak detected Cable faults now. Uh, live support no, we know that. Uh, low stories yes. Suicide, sorry for that. Uh, we gather here today to bid a final farewell to one of our finest. Yeah, this is the person who died. Uh, we gather today. Blah blah. blah. As difficult and painful it is, we must accept that Courtney Carlson is dead. As friends, as a community, we expressed our sadness and acknowledge uh, acknowledge our loss. Acknowledge the great importance that Courtney Carlson's life of Carlson's life. Uh, Courtney's life has been a journey towards a vision, a journey which brought us all. Uh, towards the possibility of living on the red planet. One small step after uh, one small step after a time. Courtney didn't try to make their mark on human history for there is no room for attempts in success. Courtney knew what the, the calling of fate was knew what knew the risks and the opportunities and made the best of it for the good of us all what is that what is it takes a person through all this is this a question only we can answer what it takes a, a person through all this is so okay. this is a question whose answer is in is the spirit of Courtney Carlson and this is the legacy for us has died suicide low sanity hint each time a colonist died non-natural death two uppercase leave the pool all right thank you fellow colonist right so uh, we pick it up next time uh, we will get past this. Uh, we will not end on a bad note. Oh well, we end on a bad note now. But we will get our colony back on track. Uh, we will uh, hunt those weird ass lights that are flying around everywhere. Eating our water. I think it's an alien. Uh, right now we only have one on the surface floating. What I know of. This one up here as well. Uh, yeah, so uh, if you like this episode, then um, <laughs> give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you have any suggestion on how to get better, how to progress, 
and what to what do you think I should uh, research then just hit me up in the comment section and if you want to see more of surviving Mars and other stuff I do then just hit that subscribe button punch that bell and I'll see you all in the next episode bye